How's it going everybody, Lance Cure here, and today I'm going to be talking about Angry Birds Under Pressure, which this is also based from the movie Angry Birds Movie 2. So before I continue, I'd like to thank the studio for sending me a copy of this to try out and share with you guys on my channel. So first off, let me give you the aspect of what this game's about. Basically, the person in the VR headset is the captain of the ship, and the people on the TV is the crew. With that, the crew members have to repair the equipment, has to load up the missiles or all the other stuff that is required in there, also load up the treasure that is being received by the captain, while the captain is basically gathering all the treasures, blowing up whatever obstacles is in their way at a certain time limit before you make it back to your mother base ship, as basically it looks like. As it may seem, it may look easy, but it's actually difficult to manage. Now, of course, when you play it the first time, it may be difficult, but it's actually pretty easy. I mean, let's put it this way. It's Overcook. Now, I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm saying the fact that it actually plays like Overcook, where you are able to work together in one area, one does this, one does that, the other one does this, and try your best to keep that organized afloat. But when there's more obstacles that comes in, it makes it more challenging to keep that pattern going. Now, let me explain the controls on the TV. Pretty simple, you got a top view, you got a character you can control, and with it you can throw objects, you can pick up objects, you can repair objects, just like Overcooked. Now again, nothing wrong with that. The fact is, if you played Overcooked, you should be able to jump on this like it was nothing. And be able to comprehend what you have to do as a sailor in their perspective. Now, as the captain in VR, you really don't have to do much, but you could still help out in your own way. You have a magnetic gun, as I would like to see it as, and you can pick up the objects and also throw it on where it needs to be. Same thing goes for the treasure or any other obstacles that comes in your way. While you're gathering treasure outside in the ocean, as well as blow up objects that is in front of the ship. That is still a lot to task, especially when you're trying to tell your other teammates to help out because you can't do it alone on this game. But the loadout of the characters, basically from the movies, and characters I haven't even seen yet, but eventually you'll see it once you go see the movie. And then of course little party hats you can earn while you play the game and all the levels. Now again, I've only played like four to five levels, so like I said, it does get a little challenging further as you go and progress. So I, I again, there's really nothing wrong with this game. It's a simple little miniature game. You can't broadcast it sadly, which is which was very weird. But I guess because of you know movie copyright and all that stuff, they don't want people to stream it. But as long as you get to see the gameplay aspect of it, I guess this will give you an idea of what you're juggling with for this game. Now again, great game, great couch game, because there's no online to it, you can't, you know, invite people online, but it's a great couch game that everybody can come together, take turns on the VR headset, and experience themselves on here. So, I have no problem with this. This could be a nice selection if you guys have friends that comes over to play. For others, I don't know, because if you like the online internet, this may not be the game for you. But I still enjoyed it, and I thank the studios for sending me this copy because my nephews did enjoy this game as we played it together. We took turns on the VR headset as well as, you know, on the TV as well. So, what do you guys think of it? I'll leave you guys with this last gameplay here. And if you guys enjoy it, hit that like button, hit subscribe to see more content, and I hope to see you guys another time. Ready. 
Capture ready. 